Again, this is my channel Kifsa. This is a face channel that I've got. Um, I'm happy that you are watching my video, and I have got a second channel that is all about my life, my adventures, and trips, and etc. etc. So it's called Kifsa Ag. You can go there, I will leave the link to it down in the description box below. And today, I want to speak about books especially because we all know that the bible have got 66 books as far as i properly remember uh, so yeah so you probably read the new and the old testament the 66 books of the bible and uh, what I want to recommend you is, of course, Hallelujah Scriptures with extra books. And the uh, Sefer Bible, Sefer book. Just Sefer with the extra books also, because they have better sheet and other, like, Jashar or Jubilees. So I recommend you all of these. Um, also, these are like must-haves. Hallelujah scriptures with extra books and Zephyr scriptures with extra books. Also, um, how are they called? Not Masoretic, but from Adam from Parable of the Vineyard was using it and it was like Septuagint scriptures also. I advise you to read. Um, instead of like reading the 66 books of the Bible all over and over again, I recommend you reading like first Hallelujah with extra, then Sefer with extra, then Septuagint. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have extra. Also, the Dead Sea Scrolls, I have got like from Penguin classics but i don't know if this is like a proper translation to read i haven't read it all yet because i have some notes but yeah i really really love it i prefer when they are in separate books than like in one book also, very important book that I want you to read if you think that Israel is condemned by God and it won't get to heaven. <coughs> I'm speaking about Jews, uh, not only those from the past, but those in the present times we are living. Um, and all the people that are called Israel, we know they will get to heaven, but I'm specifically speaking about Jews from the Judaism religion. They believe that Messiah will come, but they haven't believed that he came already. So, yeah, this, okay. This is the book God this year. God was a prophet of David, as I remember correctly. The ancient book of God the seer. Seer means a prophet. So we have references in Chronicles, uh, alluded to Corinthians and Galatians, but I am not sure about Paul, so I will stick to Chronicles and David. Here are some references, and this is by Ken Johnson, THD. So uh, here it is written like, it's got a lot of information here, but the most important is that God is speaking through this prophet God that he haven't gave Jews a divorce paper. So he haven't divorced them. He is still, um, well, if God is saying he haven't divorced them, that means that he is married to them. And in the future, we know that we will be, the Messiah is uh, 
future husband, right? We are the bride, we will get married, but God the Father is like married to Jews. So I th I think, in my opinion, as I see much, much, many people and much hate towards Jews, I think that we should so like chill because they believe in the Messiah. And God said that, like, they are still His, so I think you should give them a chance. That's my opinion. Okay, I have a lot of these, so I will, uh, like, stick to the subject. Also, I want to, like, show you my new Bible that I have bought in my... Virgin language, Polish language, this is a uh, Jerusalem Bible, Jerusalem Bible, and I stick a sticker here, it is, says, He will teach you everything, like the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Ghost, and here I have got written heaven in Polish language, and here I got some bookmark with, like, this cute from the Christian online shop I will leave the link to this online shop in the description box below and it got got golden stuff here and stuff here so um, I read on Google that it is the most popular Bible and it's Yerushalayim Bible so I like the name of it uh, also and we all know we shouldn't like we all heard sorry we all heard that we shouldn't use the commentary from the bible but uh, it's it is sometimes useful and in this Jerusalem bible there are a lot a lot of commentaries with uh, how do you say it? With references to other scriptures in the Bible also. So I think it's very helpful when I go through a verse and I don't understand it. So I go to the um, commentary, then to references, and I learn much, much more. So we shouldn't be so. I know that many of you don't like Catholic Church and everything that is connected to it but we should give some people who were in the church a chance because they might have been wise and we should take under consideration that we were too in the catholic church once so yeah don't be hypocrites okay next uh, and i think it's also important scripture and i have printed most of it from internet because i have got a lot of it from internet and i will leave also the links that i remember i have got in the description box below if there will be no link to any of the scriptures you need to google it i'm sorry but i i i will try my best okay the teachings of peter also referred to as the preaching of peter and here peter speaks about shaul also which is like the most controversial and important thing i think these are his true thoughts peter's thoughts kepha in hebrew about Shaul, Paul. So I think it's a must read also. Next, what I have got Apocalypse of Abraham. Very interesting and exciting thing to read also. Next, I have got The Testament of Solomon. Exciting and again exciting. You need to read it. The Testament of Solomon. Sorry. Yeah. Very good. Next best thing uh, is a very legitimate book, 
scripture, the testament of the 12 patriarchs of the house of Israel. So I printed it out also. As you can see, it's a lot to read, but if you are struggling with any kind of sin, you can take example from the sons of Yaakov, which is good. Even I am a woman, but even I can learn how to uh, fight a sin, as how I struggle also, right? Uh, again, and another thing, the second book of Esdras, here, yeah, it's good also, I, when I will read my Yerushalayim Bible, I will read those books again, the first book of Esdras, Ezra, or Ezra, you can write and read Ezra also, Esdras, Ezra. Ascension of Isaiah, and it's also a good read, must read, and it's about the, it's about heaven. If you read somewhere how heaven looks like, or you wonder how heaven looks like, this is your scripture, because it is written everything here, how heaven looks like, uh, about angels and stuff, so yeah, I recommend it highly. Okay, if you like Genesis, well, all books are must read, but I'm like specific, I am like detailing things for you guys. The second book of Adam and Eve, and we have also got the first book of Adam and Eve. And I have got first book from Rutherford H. Platt, Global Grey eBooks. And by the way, I think all the books are legit. So this is the second book of Adam and Eve, and I printed it out from some online site. And Testament of Abraham, which I showed you at the first. So, yeah. It's a lot to read, but as I said, it's exciting. It's a lot of information that you won't find in a simple Bible. Also, Google Apocryphal and Pseudapocryph. Pseudopigrypha or Pseudo-Apocrypha writings and you will find many many books so I will link as much as I can for you guys and yeah my mother is calling me so I have to say goodbye I told you about everything yeah I guess if I will remember something I will put it in the description box below so okay guys there are also many apps on your phone sorry my mom is calling there are also many apps on your phone like the book of Enoch and uh, hidden books of the Bible also there is an app uh, that scrolls just type anything on the search bar and there will be I will tell you about one app, uh, Lost Books, it's a good app and there are very interesting books, also the book of Natsarim, which I forgot to tell you about because I have got an ebook, uh, you can buy an ebook on Google, the book of Natsarim, okay, so I I hope that you are all okay, all right, safe and healthy. And yeah, subscribe, watch my videos, help me, help me earn a living. Yeah, so I am planning, I changed my mind about some stuff, so I am planning to do more videos to explain uh, how I see things now, and yeah, I will be saying bye-bye now, much love and many blessings. Hello, your call cannot be taken at the moment, so please leave your message after the tone.